Assalamu alaikum Nazreen. Welcome to another edition of the Sheffield Warriors. Welcome to another edition. And uh, today I am with, once again, one of our um, interviewees from World Cup 2023. You know Chitra Jantin, but we are joining us again Canada. And the last time they had a good performance in the Fantasy League. Mein. Both about the World Cup that is going to start very soon in the United States and the West Indies. This is a T20 format. So welcome, Bilal, once again to YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. Thank you, Ji. How are you, Adil Bhai? Everything's Hello, good, Bilal. I hope. That's yeah, good. Uh, how, how are things in Canada? Things in Canada, they're good. The weather is nice and uh, we're getting ready for the World Cup here. Uh, I think Canada... First time they'll be represented in the World Cup cricket. So everybody's semi-excited. <laughs> semi-excited. Uh, not, not a lot of expectations, but, you know, just to have a team there. Yeah. It's a start. Yeah. And they are match. They're playing actually the first match, US versus Canada. US yes, yes, host yes. The, the two so, hosts, yes. Yeah. So what are, what are things that are making you excited about this World Cup? First of all, different like It's a different setting, of course, from India. It is. Uh, it's 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 interesting that they have now. Uh, they have twenty teams, I guess, this year. Um, yeah. They've they've increased that. Uh, it, it it's good to have more teams in. Uh, obviously, it will lead to a lot of matches which people might not want to see. Um, but again, uh, I think it's good for cricket that they have these new teams coming in and. Uh, and I guess Sri Lanka or or Bangladesh, you know, 20, 30 years ago, that mm. was the same thing. They they came in, mm. the Zimbabwe was there as well. Mm. And uh, people used to say, yeah, I mean, you know, they're yeah. just starting up. This is just a, a win for whoever plays against them, but it's not the case anymore. Yeah. So hopefully Canada and the US uh, might, uh, you know, develop some nice uh, cricketing players in the coming years. And Maybe down the line they'll be competitive, but obviously, yeah, I, I guess Oman, Namibia, uh, US, Canada, all of all these teams are going to be slightly easier to play this year um, for the big ones. Yeah. Um, but as as for the location and uh, like the hosts, US and Canada, uh, Canada is not hosting, so it's, no, I guess it's not hosting. They, they're 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 sort of named as. Uh, hosts, but uh, US and uh, the Caribbean would be the hosts, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, um, as as we had talked about earlier, um, these pitches will be interesting. Some of the made up, some of the grounds are just you know uh, built for this uh, for this tournament. Mm -hmm. I think one uh, you were telling me about was already um, in use before. Uh, uh, Florida, uh, Hill, Lord Hill, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I think the crowd wouldn't be a problem. People will come and see these games, especially um, the uh, the big four uh, crowds are always there: Australia, England, Pakistan, and India. Um, their 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 crowds are always uh, present wherever the games are going on. So I think it will be interesting. Uh, it will be fun. Um, the weather, as 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 we discussed earlier, was was something will be something to look at um, in the south um, in the in the in the summer. But mm. apart from that, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a nice World Cup. I think it should be it should be fun, long, and uh, yeah. you know, interesting. Uh, as compared to any you know, other ODI World Cup, so Zairi by the world that yeah. was too. Yeah, yeah, this 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 should be finishing within a month, or it ha it will have different um, venues in US US hosting jointly with West Indies. So, mm. two groups' ke matches US may honge primarily, or baki any ke West Indies ke groups or Australia England wala group primarily will be in West Indies. So, I mean, it's 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 interesting. Uh, the the like you said, both sari nine teams and Nepal bhi hai, isme Netherlands bhi hai. I think they 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 have played tournaments before. Uh, mm. Speaking in Netherlands ne pehle. Who do you think is um um who do you think is the dark horse? If I was to go ask you for this tournament, I mean, we know the favorites. So, kuch hai, they can anybody. Yeah. Else? 
I mean, again, looking at the groups, um, as as again we 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 had a chat earlier about this group D, is uh, kind of tricky um, with South Africa being the standout team. Um, mm -hmm. After that, we have uh, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, which are sort of considered, you know, um, more established. And then we have Netherlands, which is my pick for the dark horse. <laughs> ah, and, uh, and then Nepal. I think Netherlands, they might be able to pull it off. I think they can. Um, so they're playing Nepal first, which gives them an adventure, an advantage. Mm -hmm. um, and then South Africa and then Sri Lanka. Yeah, I think yeah, ne Netherlands can do it. They have the team. They have uh, the belief as well after the last World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they have some nice... Uh, some nice all rounders, mm -hmm. um, and for and with T Twenty, anything can happen, right? If if, yeah. if one or two players they stick uh, stick around for like five ten overs, then the game is basically you know turned. And if they lose their wicket early, so it's 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 like that with T Twenty. It can go either way for any team. Um, but yeah. apart from that, apart from the ne Netherlands, I mean, I I don't see uh, I don't see any other team. Getting out of the group, uh, Uganda, Papua New Guinea. I mean, they have a tough group with West Indies, yeah. New Zealand, and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. No chance. Pakistan, Ireland, and uh, India. Mm -hmm. This is interesting because US and Canada might be slightly easier, but I mean, the USA beat uh, Bangladesh, I believe, uh, recently. So anything can happen, right? But the only one I see coming out of the group possibly would be uh, would be uh, this uh, Netherlands team. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, recently they have beaten some big teams in the ODI. I don't know. I mean, so dark, like, would would uh, would picking West Indies to win the T20 World Cup be considered a dark horse team um, or no? I mean, it's, it, I wouldn't say that because it's 20, the beast team here, uh, West Indies is an established team. They have won the World Cup twice. Yeah. Hosting. So, I mean, uh, dark horse, yeah, you can say, but. Yeah. Uh, strictly defining dark horse the teak like in mm -hmm. uh, Indies is I mean some people yeah. are expecting them as one of the favorites which brings mm -hmm. us to the next question which is right. who are your four semi-finalists four semi-finalists um, so this year um, they have changed the format a little bit um, and I, I don't understand some of the things that they've done uh, for example like having a defined uh, you know, one and two status uh, for each group, regardless of who wins the matches. Mm -hmm. If India and Pakistan win um, all their matches and Pakistan beats India, they're still A2, they're not A1. Um, so, I mean, it's 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 a bit odd, this uh, setup, but I, I think, so let's just go quickly through it. I think India and Pakistan from A and then uh, Australia, England from B, um, I think West Indies and New Zealand from C, and then I think uh, South Africa and uh, and maybe maybe I think uh, Bangladesh. So this this is these are the eight teams that are going to go in the Super Eight. Yeah, yeah these huh. this will be divided into two groups further. Or yes, I say two groups I mean they'll be from opposite groups probably. They won't come from their their own groups. They'll play other yeah. teams. Uh, yeah, so Pakistan won't clash with India in the Super Eights. That's again. I think Pakistan will play uh, the group with, with. I think they'll play B one, which might be Australia, mm -hmm. and uh, and then they'll have the D D one, which is the South Africa yeah. uh, side. Yeah. So um, so I I see uh in India, uh going through um yeah. that's one um, second I think uh, would be uh, Australia. Yeah. Um, these two will probably be on the separate ends of the uh, yeah. uh, of the semifinals, and then who's going to play them? I think India will probably play um, Pakistan in the semifinal. I think. Yeah. Wow. Yes, I think yeah. that that might happen, and oh. then Australia, Australia will, for me, I I think most likely play um, England in the semifinal. Sure. Yeah. Uh, there, there are a couple of teams that, that you know, like West Indies, South Africa, New Zealand that can upset and grab that fourth spot or the sec third spot. I don't know. Hmm. But those are my my teams. That's very interesting. Because in Group A, India and Pakistan, 
they'll play each other. Group B, mein, yeah. England and Australia, they'll play each other. So very yeah. interesting mix. Who's the best? Um, I mean, this is, of course, a given. Who will be the best batsman and who will be the best bowler? So, uh, I mean, the, the pretty, the, the standard answer to that question for the last, like, you know, 10 years has been Kohli. Um, but I, I won't be... one day World Cup mein. and uh, he proved or... it by scoring yes. 700 runs <laughs> yes um but I think uh, I'm I I'll I'll change my pick this year Achha. just to make it just to make uh, it interesting um I pick the same one <laughs> <laughs> like I, I think uh, so I, I'm picking the best batsman based on like not just the number of runs because I think Kohli might end up being the top run getter, but the pace at which they get it as well is is what matters, I guess, as well. So um I I, I think I think in England has a has a good team. Um yeah, you know, I, I again I, picking one person from from the the other teams is very difficult because they all perform like you know up and down. Kohli's pretty pretty much you know every game he's mm-hmm. gonna score 50, mm-hmm. 40, 50, mm-hmm. maybe seventy runs. The average um, was a T twenty man. It's not just about World Cups. He, he just scores yeah. a lot in T twenties. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I I think. I'll just go with Kohli. I'm not. I wanted to pick somebody else, but I've just changed my mind. I think that I, was I don't want that, to... that was the kind of default and safe choice anyway. Uh, best yeah. ball. Now this is interesting. Come on. Best ball. So I mean, uh, I, I was I was talking about this before with you as well. That I'm not sure with the pitches. Uh, the U.S. pitches uh, are uh, going to be uh, uh, something which we're not uh, really um, used to. We don't know. It's a wild card. Um. Going with the with the usual picks, uh, Bumrah usually is is a good pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fridi used to be a very safe pick, uh, but um, he's been giving away a lot of runs re- recently. Australia again has has good bowlers. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, the best bowler. Mm-hmm. I think okay, let's go with the with with the Pakistan bowler. Um, I'm gonna pick uh, Naseem Shah. Or actually, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna pick a really, you know, wild pick this time. Amir, Muhammad Amir. I think he's gonna be the best bowler Achha. of the tournament. Okay, that's yes. a real wild pick. Like yes, the I'm best gonna go for category. Me, hamesha wild pick. Yeah. <laughs> no, he okay, has. Nice he pick. has. He's bowled. He's bowled. Uh, you know, decently in the uh, in the PSL, and then. He's shown that he can. He he's he's not giving away a lot of runs. He's not taking a lot of wickets, but he's not giving away a lot of runs. So, I'm just gonna go as a as a wild card for uh, Muhammad Amir. Okay. I think he's he's gonna be the best bowler of yeah. the tournament. That's fine. We've got all your picks as usual, mm-hmm. and uh, it was once again um, great to have you around. But अच्छा लगा आपके साथ बात करके first of hopefully many episodes as we did in the World Cup last time. So, mm-hmm. thank you very much, Bilal, for joining me. Maiji, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, hopefully, we'll have another chat soon. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay.